Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to install Windows 11 without using any USB pen drive or CD DVD. So you just need to follow me. So at first you just need to download Windows 11 ISO file. For that you just need to go to google.com and search for Windows 11 download. And after that go to that first link of Windows Microsoft official website. So after that, you just need to select your ISO file and you can easily download from there, which I have already downloaded on my desktop as you can see. Next, you need to go to Google once again and search for Easy VCD. So after that, go to that first link and after that, download that non-commercial free version. Uh, for that, you just need to register with your name and email ID and after that, you can easily download from there. After download, you just need to install EasyBCD on your system. Next, you just need to right click on your start menu and click on disk management. After that, here is my uh, disk zero as you can see only I have C drive, only one partition as you can see C drive. So I will string some volume from C drive. So right click on C drive and click on string volume under disk management. And here I will enter the amount. Uh, so I will set here 15 GB near about. I will sync, uh, sync near about 15 GB volume. So as you can see, I'll at partition it created. So now click on new simple volume, right click and click on next, next. And after that volume level means volume name. So I'll set here Windows installer. You can set any. Uh, I will set it uh, like Windows 11 installer. And after that click on next and then click on finish after that as you can see here is my new Windows uh, 11 installer volume which is near about 15 GB so now what I'll do is I will right click on that ISO file which I have downloaded and right click and go to open with Windows Explorer now it will take some time to open on Windows Explorer so you have to wait for a few seconds after after that click on open and here's a file so just copy all these files under uh, that ISO file right click and click on copy and paste all these files and folder under Windows 11 installer now after done you just need to open easy BCD on your uh, PC now click on go and click on OK button over here ok once again and after open easy bcd you just need to click on add new entry and here you just need to select windows and make sure that you have selected windows now here you just need to select win pe and name should be windows 11 installer also type make sure that you have selected wim image now you just need to click on select path and after that go to that drive where you have saved all your files and folder and go under sources folder here you will get a boot.iwim file and after that click on add entry now here it will show you a windows 11 installer added to the boot menu successfully okay now close this window not now and you just need to restart your pc After restart your PC, you will get two options which is Windows 11 and Windows 11 installer. So click on Windows 11 installer and here is the Windows setup screen. So you can change the uh, format and keyboard input and click on next. Now click on install now. After that you can put your product key. So I don't have so I will click on that option. Now from here you can select the version of your operating system. So I'll install Windows 11 Home. So I will select the first option and click on next. After that here, you just need to check this option and click on next. Now click on customized option. Now here, as you can see, all my drive is showing, which is Windows 11 installer and all those drive. So I will delete all the partition. Okay. So I will directly delete one by one. So 
So make sure that don't delete this Windows 11 installer. Otherwise, it will uh, delete your Windows installer file. Okay. So now, as you can see, here is the unlocated space. So click on this new button uh, to create a new partition and click on OK. And as you can see, here is a new primary partition. So I will install all the windows to my new primary partition. After select, click on next. Now it will take some time. So you have to wait for a few seconds. After that here, you just need to select your language and keyboard option. Then put your device name. In my case, I am putting here uh, technology or uh, technology. After that, click on next. After that, you just need to log in with your Outlook email ID. Now, as you can see, installation process is successfully done. So, I hope this tutorial is really helpful for you. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button, and share button. And if you have any questions or questions, then comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one, next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.